We are back in the kitchen now. And over the years, many celebrated chefs, bakers and cooks have shown what they can do on our hobs. Yes, but I think this is the very first time in this morning history that a Welsh tenor has taken command of our kitchen, fresh from his celebrity master's chef victory when Evans is here to cook for us. And apparently he's got lots of flavours flavors for us to go compare. Brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, Wynne, no, I had yeah, to. Uh, it's brilliant. It's another £2.50 for me. I'm really, right. really happy, right? <laughs> A big congratulations yeah, to well, you. Yeah, well, thank you It so could have much. gone to a lovelier man. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. You must. Have, your kids must have been very proud of you for winning that. <laughs> like, it's a tough competition. Yeah, it was really hard, fun. actually. It was, it, like, a lot of time. But the kids are like, how on earth did you do that? Because you just don't cook that at home, Dad. Do you so, not yeah. cook at home? But when you see in lockdown, we used to have Posh Thursday, you know, where you do something yeah. swanky. But, yeah, no. I mean, this, though, right? This came as a result of... We've all been there, right? Saturday night, you've been to the football, you've been to the rugby, or you've just been out, right? Yeah. And you're there, shall I have a curry, shall I have fish and chips? Well, I devised this dish, right, which is both. So is it's a curry and fish genius. and chips, right? So here, I've just got some lentils uh, that I've had just soaking in chips. water. I've got to say, yeah. these chips <laughs> are unbelievable. And the lovely Miriam Margulies is over there eating a chip right now. And I can't repeat what she said as she described <laughs> it, but let's just say she said it was flipping good. <laughs> Are they delicious? To that effect, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Are you the guy from the commercial? I Sing am, it. yes. <laughs> You've lost a lot of weight. I've lost about six stones. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I've been just following you around today as people just throw radishes in front of you, like rose petals. Well, this it's is better amazing. than radishes. <laughs> and well, you've got a lovely singing voice, Thank by the you way. very really much. Really wonderful. You're very, very kind. Thank you. So, back to the cooking, <laughs> briefly. So, I've got, my, uh, I've got my lentils going, right? So, into there... This is the secret, right? You've got to add mushy peas. Yeah. Right? So just get loads of mushy peas in there. Uh, I put cream coconut in there to give it that kind of dal oh, feel. Oh, wow. mm. And then I put some chilies in to give it a bit of spice. That's this so is just nice. madras powder. Sorry, when you said add mushy peas, like tinned? Tinned mushy peas, yeah. Oh, my God, that's right? so good. A little bit of madras powder. Check that in. That's looking good. Some fresh coriander over the top, right? And then really stir it in, get it all going so that it's all working together. Those peas, they're amazing. Are incredible. They're like in the middle of so something else. You can eat that. I mean, that yeah, is like yeah. a, it tastes kind of like, it's like a vegetable curry. It's delicious. They're, yeah, they are really nice. And then a few, as you come to serve it, a few okay. flaked almonds on and the top. Cheap okay. to make. Hmm? Cheap to make. Really cheap to make and really quick, actually, because I always avoid lentils because I kind of go, oh, how long are they going to take to do? But actually, like, no Tin. time at all. Yeah, Or oh, you good. can use tinned ones, right? Do you tend to sing when you're in the kitchen? <laughs> do I tend to sing? Uh, if I'm in a hurry, it's Cardiff Curry! <laughs> Something like that, right? Oh but, do you know the worst thing on, on MasterChef was, yeah. right, is that I sing all the time, right? But, look, I'm going to base this at the okay. same time. So I've got some spices in here. This is the, this is the secret here, mango spice. Mango, mango spice, right? You, mango right. powder, you just get it in any Asian supermarket, anything like that. It's Never fantastic. Heard of it. And here I've just spice. got some coriander. Again, look, if you haven't got time, just chuck a bit of madras curry powder in or hot curry powder, whatever you've got. Whatever you've got. That is so yummy. Good. And then I'm basting the fish. Oh, yeah, in MasterChef, right? So I start singing all the time, because I sing at home all the time. Mm -hmm. In fact, I did sing. The national anthem once, do you remember, for uh, St David's Day? Oh, yeah, St David's Day. And yeah. you called me a legend, and I've dined out on that ever since. We are legends, true. So there we go. Anyway, you've got to wash your hands now. Culinary legend as well, you can add to that list. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I didn't hear you. I said, I said culinary legend. <laughs> I, mean, I was quite pleased I got it right the yeah, first time, I mean, and then I had to repeat it. Yeah, I was that, slightly panicked. A bit boring, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tiny bit boring. So uh, here, I'm just going to make a quick batter. Dead yep. easy. Flour, bicarb. You chuck a bit of beer in, right? And you've yep. just got to keep stirring, otherwise it's going to get properly lumpy. So you just keep going bit by bit, adding a bit of beer at a time, and it's really easy. And if it is a bit lumpy, just keep whisking. Mm. So anyway, mm. you just keep doing that. And then to that, mm -hmm. to the batter, I'm going to add fresh chilies. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's amazing, right? So loads of fresh chilies if you like it, like, quite spicy. Really then this mango spice, get a bit of that in there. Loads of salt and pepper, loads of fresh coriander. And you basically get your fish, right? It is so easy. You get your fish because you kind of go, oh, I don't want to do the fish myself. And you just stick the fish into the batter. Yeah. And baste it both sides and let it sit in there for a minute. And you can see it's, like, kind of... 
coated now. The layering of flavours that you do is what makes the MasterChef difference. Can't, yeah, do I think, think it's using lots of spices. Yeah. Even though it feels like a faff the first time, then after that, it's dead easy. Yeah. It's really easy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is where I kill us all and set fire in the kitchen. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? So well done, you get Joe. your fish and you chuck it in the oil. And it does that lovely sizzling thing. And then it practically overheats. And I've got to try and turn it down. And you can see it goes crispy in no time. But you've got to cook it for about five or six minutes just to cook the hake inside. What oil is it that you use? Just vegetable oil. Just vegetable oil. Yeah, just vegetable oil here. Yeah. I'm going to move that off the heat. God, that really cooks really, so really fast, doesn't it? Yeah, it just goes really, really... Look, you can see, the fish won't be cooked inside there now, but you can see... Oh, lovely. It's really crisping up. So that oil is probably a tiny bit hot at the moment, OK? So normally you'd have it not quite so hot that and leave it in longer? Exactly okay. that, right? So... Why do you use olive oil? Because olive oil doesn't work really well at a high heat. Uh, sunflower oil and vegetable oil work much better at high heat. I never knew that. Yeah, so you shouldn't really fry with olive oil. Marion, do you cook? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe in olive oil, you see. OK, yeah, yeah I, I, look, I use olive oil at home, right? It's really nice. Just not for frying. No. So there's your fish, right? Ready. Bit of salt on the top. Now, this is the thing. Spices in a pan, right? Mm -hmm. This is basically just crushed chilli. It's yellow from, from turmeric. And you get a bit of madras curry powder in, and you literally use it like salt. So normal chips, right, yeah. cooked, parboiled and then fried. Then you get a little bit of it like salt, excuse my fingers, and you just chuck it over the top, and that's what the chips are. But you don't, would you not then put it back in the oven, or you nope. just keep it like just that? just do it like that. Just eat it like that, and it's absolutely delicious. Well, they are really delicious. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Super crispy. When? Yeah, be... You're so clever. And this was your winning dish? This wasn't my winning dish, but this was one of the dishes that got me through to the final. So I wanted just to be inventive the whole time, try and do different things. I loved I loved it. Oh, my God, I absolutely Well, you definitely impre impressed the judges on MasterChef. Let's see if you've impressed Miriam over <gasps> there. What do you reckon? Brilliant. Delicious. Can I have a cuddle after? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll do more than that, love. <laughs> Look... <laughs> If you want, you can put a radish in as well, right? <laughs> oh, my God! You can't. No, seriously, this is the secret ingredient that you always need to stick in, a radish. I always carry one in my pocket, Do never without it. Well, yeah. well you've, met, you've met your match over there. <laughs> oh. over the radishes. Thank you. <laughs> Weird. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank always you. a joy to have you always. in. Now, uh, for the details of today's recipe mm. and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, um, they're all available on our free This Morning app. Right.